Hello, my name is Yijin Ji. I'm going to show you how to use um, ADAPT to analyze public available RNA sequencing data. Uh, so first, we're going to download um, pre-processed, uniformly processed um, rate counts data from ARCHS4 and DE2, um, and then prepare da this data matrix file and, uh, and also create experimental design file, uh, which will be loaded back into ADAPT um, we're going to also show you how to download data from NCBI. The main um, message that I want to show people is that even biologists uh, without you know, any programming um, skill can, with these tools like ADAP, which is interactive and graphical interface, and also resources like um, databases like this, which is the read counts and gene expression levels, ready to go, you can actually analyze uh, existing data very quickly uh, within 15 to 30 minutes. To get started, we will go to the ITAP website and uh, click on Analyze Public Data. Here there is many sources of data we can, um, uh, many, many different sources of data we can download. We're going to use ERCHS4 for human. And the same data set we're going to use is also available in here. They're slightly different, but we're going to use it here. And use it any keyword uh, to down search for data. I use the very generic mutant. And um, I have found this data and so click on it. Start downloading. The downloading is, 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 is finished. As you can see, there's 13 samples in there. And um, this is one of a very typical uh, design. We have. Uh, two cell lines or two genetic background and with a tre with or without treatment, so four groups. So we're going to download the gene expression, uh, gene level data, and uh, the same data. Uh, so to get more information about the data, you can um, uh, find this information on Google uh, uh, through Google, just directly using GIC number. You can see this is a more detailed explanation of this data. They have a paper published. So this is two cell lines. What they're looking at is they're looking at a pharmaceutical compound that inhibits the um, ML1 and DOTL1L. So those are chromatin remodelers, uh, chromatin, um, chromatin regulators. So they are trying to uh, imagine whether by blocking chromatin mod histone mod modifiers could uh, be used to treat uh, cancer. Uh, so, so 13 samples here, and they also have uh, their own real counts data here, um, which we'll uh, use in a little bit. Now go back to this um, data that we just downloaded. So I'll, go to, I'll just open. And this is the data, as you can see, we have uh, 13 columns and 1,535,000 uh, uh, rows. And uh, the first thing I do typically, I'm going to um, make, um, I'm going to clean up the sample title a little bit. So I'm going to paste it here into separate workbook. And I'm going to paste it in transpose. I like this way because all the samples are nicely aligned. So we're going to paste it one more time. So we're going to start um, manipulating on these uh, names here. First of all, I don't need this accession number. So we're going to replace that. So anything before a space is replaced with nothing. So that goes. I'm going to also going to replace this replicate um, in here because it's redundant. We know all they are replicate. And uh, OCI. And this is gone. Okay. Now this is very good. We can use this as a sample names. Uh, this sample is kind of odd, um, but we're gonna uh, copy this and paste to um, our original data files as can transposed. All right, you can see these guys are lined up pretty good, and. Um, and uh, the last one we are going to uh, delete. I don't know. Um, this is a control or something, but there's no replicates. So I save that, and this is good to go. And uh, come back. I start making. Uh, let's start to make a a experiment design file. 
So there are many ways to do that, but the quickest way is probably uh, using these um, text to column uh, function here, just um, delimited and underscore and finish. So delete that. And this is obviously cell line, one factor, and the treatment of our second factor. And we, we need to transpose it back. And, okay, and delete the original one, and then this is good. So we can save as design file and save to the folder that we want, uh, which is in the downloads. Save it as a CSV file. Uh, save, and then we are ready to go. The app website and uh, reconstate obviously, and then we browse to get this gene level const data and load in the experiment design. Sometimes people get error messages if the sample names are doesn't match between the expression matrix and the design file. As you can see, I just copied and pasted the same uh, thing there. You can take a look at these numbers. And you can see these are recons, some are very high, uh, very big numbers. And, uh, and the next thing we want to do, obviously, is to um, run the identify difference of gene expression. And this will help us um, understand the data a little bit, but um, in here, by default, it runs pairwise comparisons of all four groups. Since we have two factors, so we uh, can use these two factors to construct a model and also use the interaction term between the line, uh, between the cell line and the treatment. Make sure this is the desired uh, reference level that makes that makes more sense for them. This is control, this treatment. If one of them have a mutation, then you want to use a wild type as a control, as a reference level. So these guys, these comparisons, just whatever you think makes more sense, we recalculate. Um, we have the results um, in here. So, um, and uh, obviously, um, we can investigate each one of the uh, co comparisons here in DEG2 tab. And here, the EML2 versus EML3 was the difference in baseline uh, without treatment, the difference between ML2 and ML3, the, the, their cell lines. Obviously, there's a lot of difference between these two, uh, two cell lines, even in a baseline. Thousands of genes are expressed differently. If there's too many uh, genes, sometimes you can change these full changes here. Um, okay, so this the second term is the difference between uh, the treatment versus the control uh, in the reference level for cell lines. In, in our case, ML3 is the reference. So for ML3, the difference between treatment and the control. The most um, interesting um, would be this interaction term. So this is the extra uh, effect, the extra response in AML2 uh, cell line to the treatment of this chemical compound. Let's go see these are these genes are uniquely upregulated in AML2, and these are uniquely downregulated genes in AML2 compared to um, AML3. So you can uh, you can uh, to investigate these guys further. You can this gene list further. You can change. Um, different uh, databases, obviously, if you want to uh, dig deeper into the gene expression uh, regulation, you can choose the, the transcription factor, uh, target genes, and also M mRNA uh, target genes. Um, the I mentioned that the gene expression omnibus also have recons data. So obviously you can download these files and um, extract um, and the files will be here. Um, and obviously you can open that up in Excel. Um, you can open this file um, all files and double click 
and this file is a little bit uh, so delimited that's for sure and by by default is tab but for tab you can see these columns are not separated uh, nicely so I found you can change the space you can see these columns are separated pretty nicely um, and then um, from here as you can see different authors have different format in this case the authors have um, reference Reference, RefSeq uh, gene IDs and also the gene symbols. Uh, if you want to use the RefereNSeq uh, gene IDs, you can delete that. And um, make sure that this is something that is a gene ID that ADAP can convert. The only problem I see here is that for one gene, there's a few uh, transcripts maybe, uh, or isoforms here. These guys, um, ADAP will not uh, recognize. Um, but I don't think there's uh, a lot of them. Um, so that's the um, the making of the design file is very much uh, similar to what we did before, um, even easier actually. Okay. So you can down, uh, you can upload these files back to Adapt and 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 do whatever you like. Um, uh, analysis with ADAP. One thing that uh, I want to remark is that these read cons, we have three sources now. We have NCBI and we have um, ERCHS and also we have um, D2. And they are slightly different, especially on one pseudogene I examined this morning. So make sure you double check um, these.